Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Was made in 2011. It was directed by Rupert Wyatt. Stars James Franco and Andy Serkis. And it is the first in the... How do I say this? The Ape Trilogy. The new Planet of the Apes trilogy. Um, that recently got the fourth release. Well, not trilogy anymore. The, the fourth one released this year. And I watched it. It was good. It's a good movie. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Because I recently decided to rewatch it. As I was... When everyone started talking about all the movies again, Rise was almost universally the one that everyone was like, ah, it was okay. You know, it was ever, and I was like, oh, that was my favorite one. And, you know, I kind of was like, huh, maybe it wasn't as good. My, my taste is kind of bad. <laughs> so I decided to rewatch it. And I was like, no, my taste is good. This is a good movie. I don't fucking care. I am going to rewatch the other two, but this one is a good ass movie. And I don't care what anyone says. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a good ass movie. I, I don't really understand why people classify it lower than the other movies. I think it, maybe it's cause it's like, it, there's a less of a focus on the apes. I mean, there's still a pretty large focus up, but you know, there's some boring human stuff with James Franco and other woman and old man. Ugh, boring. But, um, yeah, the human characters are never really the strong, <laughs> the strong suit in these movies. Um, James Franco, as an actor, I'm not really too meh on. Like, I'm kind of iffy. I, I heard he, he did some not so good stuff. Um, but I don't know, he does a decent job in this. Um, everyone else, I mean, besides, I'm talking about, like, the humans, not the apes here. Nothing too special here. It's mostly just kind of passable. Um, but the apes. Ooh, the fucking apes. Ooh, Andy Circus. Ooh. Ooh, the monkeys are so good. The middle of the movie uses dialogue very sparingly. And it manages to convey so much, like, without dialogue. I, hold on. I, I need to gush about the middle of this movie. This movie is like a, a grilled cheese sandwich that the bread is kind of shit. Like, it's kind of bland. It's like, meh, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. It's bread, but, you know, it's not, like, good bread. But the grilled, ooh, the cheese. It was, like, hand-picked by Cheezus himself to be the best cheese in the world. And that is this movie. The start is kind of meh. The, the end is kind of meh. But the middle is fucking amazing, and I love it. It is, like, a monkey prison break movie. And it is genuinely so entertaining, and I love it. It is probably where the majority of my enjoyment from this movie comes from. Like, it just, oh my god, seeing, um, I don't want to spoil it, but for everyone who knows the movie, everyone sees the movie, everyone who knows the movie knows what I'm talking about, the no scene, um, which I know that sounds really dumb out of context, but like, that is one of the my favorite scenes in like anything ever. I know this is kind of a stupid thing to say, I know they're much... Probably much better movies out there, but I don't care because the no scene is so fucking good. I remember the first time I saw it, I was sort of like talking out loud on my TV like, this guy's a fucking psychopath. The, uh, the, the like caretaker of the apes, he's like a fucking like psychopath and he's like, he like abuses them for fun. He's like, fuck you ape. <laughs> I'm gonna smear shit on you. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, the human characters in this movie, they're very like stereotypey. Like there's the angry neighbor. Um, which I do think is kind of funny because how much bad shit happens to him. <laughs> it's good. I don't know. It, like after a point, it kind of becomes funny. Um, but, um, the guy at the company, the, the Genesis lab, which is the company that James Franco gets Caesar from. The reason he's so smart is because of a drug that he's trying to give to his dad. James Franco is trying to give to his dad. Um, but the CEO of that is this British guy. And he is the most, like, stereotypical, like, rich CEO character. He's like, oh my gosh, we have to have money. Profits, profits, profits. I don't fucking care. Give me all the profits in the world. I need to buy another goddamn yacht. That's all he sounds like. He is the most insufferable part of this movie. It's just, it's, but at the same time, it's kind of funny, like, how much he's a blatant stereotype. Uh, but anyway, back to James Franco and his dad for a minute. Um... The dad, the reason James Franco was, like, developing the drug that Caesar, like, Caesar, who is the main ape, 
he I don't know if I mentioned that before. Oopsies. Uh, but the reason that he gives him it is because his dad has Alzheimer's and the drug is like meant to like repair your brain and make it work better. And I don't know. I don't see Alzheimer's really tackled in movies too much. And I I guess luckily, yeah, luckily is the right word. Luckily, I don't know anyone with Alzheimer's or no one I know has Alzheimer's. So I have no idea if this is like an issue that is tackled with respect. I mean, I don't really know. Um, if I find out later then it's not, then maybe that'll sour my opinion on the movie for a bit. But I'm just happy it's included, you know? It's something different. It's, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for like the first um, like half of the movie, which I was kind of expecting when I first like like got in i was like oh this is gonna be like happy 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 and then cd gets taken away sad 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 but no but it's not that there's you know ups and downs and i like that and i like that um speak okay going back to the middle of the movie the middle of the movie is so fucking good i love it so much there's basically no dialogue you were literally watching caesar like rise the ranks of respect in monkey prison and stage a monkey prison break and it is so fucking entertaining and funny they're not funny it's just so like it's so it, it is funny at times but it's it's just so cool like the this like i loved when he gives chips ahoy to everyone like, that was funny um i don't know if it was funny i don't know it's just so ah oh, it's so good i love it so much i don't know why i feel so strongly about it it's just i don't really know i think part of the reason i like this movie so much is when the apes eventually do rise up against the humans and they like beat the shit out of them like I'm rooting for the apes here. Like, the humans in this movie are almost always, like, shitheads. And I feel like that really helps, like, demonstrate kind of the evil of humanity. As the movie does a great job of putting you in Caesar's point of view. Like, his, um, like, the way he views the world. It's kind of viewed through this, like, mysterious lens of where he doesn't really understand, like, what he is or what, like, the world is around him. And I like that. You know, it, I like that. Really. I don't know. Caesar is a, good, is a great protagonist. Great protagonist. Great, great, great dude. Great. Andy Circus does an amazing job. Um, all the other apes are really entertaining to watch. I love Maurice. My boy Maurice. Hell yeah, man. Rocket. Rocket's cool. Koba. Uh, he, later, we'll find out he's a big, he's a big bitch. Um, you know, you know, uh, you don't know, then you don't know. Um, yeah. Is there any other apes <laughs> that are actually named in the movie? I don't know. Uh, Bright Eyes, but that's just Caesar's mom. But I don't know. Um, I also think this movie does a good job because when it was made, there was probably no... I don't know if there was like a, a trilogy planned out when they made the movie, but at the same time, it functions as like a prequel to the later plan of the apes movies. Like if you were to just singularly, look, singularly watch this, like don't watch any of the other movies, watch this and then watch the other, like the original plan of the apes, like this works as a prequel. Like, it works. Like, there's newspapers around that, like, show, like, stuff about space. And I've not seen the original Planet of the Apes. I need to get on that. I'm sorry. But, you know, it works in that case. And I really like that. But, you know, of course, it did get a sequel. And I have no idea if it was planned for that to happen. But, you know, I'm happy it happened. Because the other two movies, which I don't feel as strongly about as this one. But then again... Um, I don't know why. Maybe I was just grumpy that day, and I need to rewatch them. <laughs> but fuck, man, the the m middle of this movie's so good. Like when they get out of the jail, I was almost kind of like sad. I was like, damn, that part of the movie's over. Like, you know, they're out. I'm happy for them, but it sort of just turns into more like generic, just action movie, and it, I don't know. Ugh, it is the middle part carries it so hard. I I I don't know. Like, the, the monkeys carry the movie entirely. And I honestly feel like the inclusion of the humans, like, them being such assholes and being so stereotypical and so uninteresting to watch, it makes you, like, psych it sort of psychologically, like, manipulates you to, <laughs> to want, to, like, to see the apes succeed and win. You just want to, like, get away from these people because they're boring as shit. Um, uh... I haven't really talked about the direction much. Um, it's okay. Uh, I think this movie, to my knowledge, is done... No, no, no. It's, it's directed by a different guy. Matt Reeves does the other two. Uh, this guy, Rupert Wyatt. I don't know if he's made anything else of note. I'm not sure. He does a good job here. Um, there are some shots that I'm like, oh, that, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Uh, but there are you know, some also I'm like, oh, that, that could have been done better. But at the same time, you know, it, it's a decent direction. Um, the score... 
at times is like really good but also at times it's just generic movie score like you know what i mean where it's like you know it's like if if i were to show you a clip of it like the soundtrack and put it over another movie you probably wouldn't even notice like hey that's rise of the planet of the apes soundtrack no you wouldn't notice that there are certain tracks that i think are good ironically a lot of them are in the monkey jail <laughs> So hmm, I, I can see what part of the movie is is clearly the one everyone put the most effort into, or at least the best part, just because it is. But I can see why people do not like this movie as much as the other two. The other two have a lot more monkey action than this one, and if that's what you're looking for, then you know this isn't really your your cup of tea. There's not much monkey action here. On the other hand, I like this movie. I don't give singular poop what anyone says this is a good movie and i don't know if it's gonna be my favorite after rewatching the other two but who knows who knows this is a good movie you should watch it don't listen to haters don't listen to anyone uh like you know see it for yourself it's a good movie I i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten like but uh, like a low eight, out, like a low eight out of ten. Like it is on the verge of being like a seven point five, but I haven't given a point five yet. I don't know if I will like resort to that level. But I don't know. Good movie. <laughs> Good movie. See movie. Um, see movie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Apes together strong. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. What am I fucking doing anymore? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, man. This movie's good.